to react to classic at distance and the ding from logan will come in there's brody down and that's the intro that bds needed this is berlin for those who aren't aware there's only two spots available for this so you want to get on in it's only the two teams in the grand finals to make it so Polvi able to take down Getza, opening up the site, but there is still a Viper in the back, and they're going to need to push the cost out of this power position. He's looking all around. He's doing a bit of damage, but Polvi to go for the finisher remains. again. Trey and Polvi, Trey just doing work, left. leaving only the Cypher alive. And Trey will go for getting aggressive here through mid from 10 star, but looks like the push has already gone through. Polvi has gotten so deep into site, he's able to even put pushes on his opponent in spawn but Takas will turn around get one kill just before he gets down by Brody Stanley's taking down Logan in the meantime the Sova's down Rodin is actually gonna get aggressive here which is really unexpected maybe waiting for his teammates to get into position but this is given enough time for 10 star to deal with him and get that info that is also necessary the jet Finally going down here, we're taking down Stanley on the other side, leaving the Cypher and the Jet alive. Cray in that little mouse lurking spot. Difficult to pull people out of it. Flash does nothing in this as Gats is pulled away from it at the right time. Tap from the rat spot. Gats gets one, but it's available for the attackers here of Tenstar. It was used, I believe, by Takas there. Just to slow things down in case of a push throw beam. And what a shot from Russ. Polvi landing the operator down mid, and that leaves a site open again. There is Gats, though, an operator himself. He might be seeing a lockdown here. It's gonna be forced back to Sky going down. A good shot for Gats. He's looking for more to peek around him. He gets the second on to Cray. Good reaction and good click there. And but oh, there it is, Stanley landing on a Takas. Kuma taking down Brody though. In the meantime, and finally there will be a miss on Gats his operator. There's the tag on a Polvi. He's gonna dive into. Oh no! He loses it. A great play there with the knives onto Akuma. He's gonna dive up and try to take this one-on-one -on -one fight against the Jet before any reinforcement can show up. The Cipher is far back gats so close Looks to finding like the one. shot it only needs Enemy one remaining. swings out into no. the cypher to turn it into 1v1 paul v is half hp he still has oh no he pulls out the operator and do things here with 10 star versus bds and 10 star they go quick and fast in this one wrote it on the sky can play with here especially mid to late round should they want to of course that is available for 10 star logan underneath Ratting around, lurking, trying to get a pick, and there we go. These are the kind of impact kills we need. The newest trailer. addition to the six-man roster is Gash, and he's doing wonders. Oh, no. Logan roking the wrong way at the wrong time. Brody able to take him out and possibly open up B. Yeah, the Killjoy is already on there. You look in mid. That's where the rest of BDS are sitting. Cypher will try to rotate, and there's already a lot of damage done because you're more in the save or forced by round. You're kind of going to rely on whatever ultimates you have but actually the plant is happening on Spike a planted. so smart from 10 star to just split the defense between the two locations and they're gonna have a great advantage in this locking down the defense in position brody now to respawn takes down takas on the viper and it leaves two alive and look at how low that jet is on hp akuma from behind great shot on the brody but how will that help you there it is going up with a neural theft and he knows. Yes, he will a good shot though from Stanley for an himself. Gats going in for a shot. He's on 32 HP. As he swings wide, it's Stanley to take how it works in this case. Maybe a lot of more damage can be done on the opposite end even. But Polvi finding Gats is looking the wrong way. But Roden with a great refrag onto Cray, making sure that at least numbers are equalized despite losing the oh so important jet with the operator. No ultimates to play with here, and I don't know how close multiple of these players are. Straight through the cage is going to be Stanley. They have no idea he's made his entrance, but now they do. Was that a flash as well? Nice. Logan, he's going to be having the skirts of the lurk, and well, as a result, he gets gifted, but Logan is the only one that is able to hold down on that side at the moment. The rest are rotating because I think they know it's a bit of bait and switch right now, and Killjoy will move up towards mid to see if there's any damage she could do as Akuma is over towards spawn can you find logan here on the rotation oh you found him and you got the kill russ great shot which will open up whichever site really left. 10 star wants to go through they will have the opportunity to split the two players 
That's exactly what they're gonna get. Oh no, the Cypher in the wrong spot. But a good shot from Roden to take down Colby. Slowing things down as the spike has been dropped just as it's being ferried. Off the site, Roden with another to make it a three. He's gonna force Roden back to the advantage here. And what a shot from Colby. Almost getting the second behind him as Cray collects. Yes. Can he find the shot? Yes, he can. Takas on to Cray. Viper on Viper here. Polvi can't draft and see what he can find. No, Brody! Brody so close. He's been hitting shots today, but this is just not the one. Takas looking to find Polvi. And there it is. Finally, the finisher on the Viper. Nothing to support her there. Spike is planted. Your 4v2. And what do the Cypher in the sky have? They have a Guardian. Might be something worth in the remain. future, but it's just <laughs> not going to happen here. Is it worth saving now? <laughs> now that you're being pinched from two directions, where do you go? <laughs> just backs against the wall, Jess. You know what? It's like a sandwich. That makes me really hungry, but right now Akuma <laughs> is in a breeze sandwich, and it is not as hot as it sounds. Tensar played Team Kesso in the open pause. They got so close, but not close enough. Control fire! And Gats is watching. He won't be spotted for now. There you go. Spirit is in, and Gats will take down Stanley, slowing things down. Even more damage done to him, but he's done the work already. Akuma will take down Polvi. That is 5v2. Huge advantage for VDS. Even though there's a bit of an advantage now, they have the 5v1. This is such a... As you can on the attacking side, and as you mentioned earlier, Jess, 10 Star also have a pretty good record on defense. On break, so who knows? So much ultimate being used here. Hunter sure is out. We'll collect nobody on the other side. Roden, though, takes down Colby and Stanley as they will. Got Cray finally taking one down with him and the Seekers oh. that have been sent his way. Seekers also out from Rust as every single ult pretty much has been used. Cray is in the middle of his pit as Gats is forced back. Should run. Rust might be able to catch up. <gasps> There's Ross the plan. is in such a good position. This is it. Roden coming around the corner. Flash is in two. He's on 25 HP, but he cannot find anybody on the other side healing up himself. Brody and Rush will get a kill each, and now advantage is on to 10 star. Logan taking down. One enemy remaining. In the meantime, it looks the wrong way. Roden, no. Cray to take him out, and it's all on Logan. He's going to take damage in One the middle of the pit. Remaining. He's got to be careful what Jesus. he does. What a flick onto Cray. But he's so low on health, and this should be the cleanup. Yes, it will be. Rush. With the dink. There's the peak down in mid. Recon Bolt will reveal that there's Logan on the other side. Gats might be able to do some work here. Look at the lurk position, but no, he's gonna be stunned in the meantime. Dashing through the smoke, and Polvi will take him out. Oh, that was so well done with the guy giving all the info necessary. Okuma gets one, but already Brody has already taken out. I know Kuma exactly. With the turret that had already been deployed. Oh. Cypher is going for the Neural Theft as well. Roden will get one on a Stanley and another one on Pol V just after he shuts down the Viper of the Khan. A 2v2 is going to get tagged through the box down at 70 HP. There's the flash very quick, but there's no follow-up on it from the 10-star side. Logan and his teammates die are trapped in the middle, but Roden will get the kill. Brody going in for the peak. It's one flicks for the other. The flash comes out and doesn't do much work here for Roden. He's out of time. The turret is doing work in this one. He's got to be careful. Who would have thought the turret would just be doing so much in this one? Rotom would just be forcing the death, but it really will not matter on the other side for a 10 star. And there's there's no time to do anything here. There's the finisher. Bro, catch him off. He knows he's around. There's the flash coming up. The smoke will get gas a bit of health. He's going to find one, two kills just before he gets shut down. This means the site is kind of open. There's still Rotom on here. He's taking a bit of damage down to 10 HP. And even being used in this situation, Brody will take him down. And of course, he won't be able to lock down anybody at the end of it. But still, enough to get that spike down. Stanley going down at the cost with his SMG. And it puts him in a 2v2 situation. Advantage health-wise for BDS in this one. But post plant positions have already been set up for their opponents of 10-star. And Takas will have to walk through the wall. Oh. Brody, oh no! Very ballsy peek there, and the ultimate has been popped. They're gonna need to walk through the pit to do work, but they're getting pings to Brody. know exactly where it is. Brody can fire whenever One he wants. Remaining. They're gonna hear the fuse comes in. Brody down to cost, and there's the pit going down. As Brody, the plant will go down, and how will this retake go? Look at the white flank, the 10 star or 10 star. This is 
Obvi saw that trap wire there as well, so he, he's going to have to destroy it. It gives away his position. He'll go down. Takis, nice catch onto that one. But Stanley with the ghost in hand. This is going to set a precedent, a little bit of momentum here for either of these teams. And as the trend continues, close end of the rounds, it's going to be all up to Brody. We just hyped the man up exponentially, and he has a 1v3 post player position. You can hear the ticker going down. And Still quite a bit of time to make a rotation on A if necessary. And in the meantime, though, the check for 10 stars is going wide for the flank. Might be able to catch off their opponents, but in the meantime, bring the rest of the squad here. 10 stars are going in. There's one for Rust, but two for Takas to take down Rust and Kray are in sight. Spike is dropped in the meantime, and the Viper spit will go in. Holy, what a great shot! Great reflow control. Did land Takas before he can do much work on the side itself. Brody with another one. There he is. Finally able to do work with the one enemy remaining. in hand at it. Holy! They're looking it down! Holy and Brody! Get to go all the way around and fight their window. That was so cash money. Jesus Lord Almighty. Polvi fans are rejoicing out there because that man was inside of window and he's just... It's like a sniper's match point. They're going to need to buy up every single round. They're going to need to plant pretty much every single round to keep it up. So what can Brody do? Stanley is going to help him out to take down Gats. And they're at least going to be able to pull Brody away for just a moment to cost taking down Stanley. Finally, he's already done his work on site. And look at that for us! They double up for him and both Logan and Akuma are down. It's all on the cost. The flash comes in. We're off for our second map. DDS already moving up. They're going to be able to find Stanley here with the Ghost Rodan. Great shot to get the opener, but Russ instantly firing through a lot of damage done in Cray. The plant, though, on the immediately. Wasting no time to get to it. So low on HP, and all you got to do is watch a few entries into sight. Polvi, great shot onto Akuma, opening up the flank and going wide into C Long. There's some info to be given to Brody. Oh, good shot, Brody, on a gas. Rodan going in and trying to secure that flank. Well, he spots a couple players going around. Russ preparing for a flash. Polvi's been spotted. There's the flash and there's the peak. Logan will take down Russ. BDS with an entry and they're going to go into that A site. That's though. Another one on a Polvi. They've got such a huge advantage of manpower and in utility and firepower on site. Akuma with one, leaving the Killjoy and the, and the Sova last alive. It's unfortunate here for 10 Star, but BDS are fighting back. Akuma with one Killjoy and Killjoy. And last is the Sova. Brody can't really do too much here against the five. He's going to be spotted up top. Nope. They still have no idea. They'll be going to be able to get the final info versus Guild Esports. So BDS definitely have an advantage. That's why they picked this map for their own. There's an extra smoke coming out. And Ooh. oh, so close there. Missing with a shot. But Cray will take down Logan. Stanley with another one. And there's the rifle kills. But Logan and Gatch will instantly fight back. For Rush comes down. Logan set is pretty much open. The smoke drop on the floor. Look around the corner. It's Kuma. Kuma to take down Rust. He also has turret to help, but Brody swings. Picture as to whether or not this is a good half from them or not. So let's see what Brody can do here on a long. There's a flash around the corner and a smoke as well. No info on him. He's going to collect gas pretty much for free. He swings around, but doubling up for BDS. And Logan and Broden will get a kill each. Brody and Polvi you are down. Run. The two top performers for the team now. Trying to go for the lockdown on Stanley here, who is solo on site. Broden yeah. checking all around those little corners. That's a pretty big range for everything to be used, but it's not going to be able to catch Stanley here. Uh, in hell, is going to collect a kill. It's crazy. They're also taking down one for his own. Logan on the flank takes down Stanley, though. And BDS are set for a... Plant. Now, there's the plant the here in Heaven window. And Russ is going to rush in to, sh to check if anybody's dropping down to go for the pickup. Oh. Logan, a lot of damage here being exchanged between the two. He's got standing. an extra teammate Last to help him, but standing. Cray peeks to the right. Oh. But it turns into 1v1. Can Logan do this? Cray. See, on 7 HP. They do here now. Gat is spotted, and he's going to get taken down at 85 HP here. Fulby is going to be able yeah. to fall back in the meantime. Seeker is out as well as a flash, and a flash comes out to fire back into Rodan. Very well done. 
And the lockdown has... They need to destroy it. Sit in. He can sit right on the edge here. Roden, oh, what a great spot for him to go for the plant. But he's going to opt for the fight. And nobody has been spotted. And oh, Boldy knowing, hey, there's only one location where we need to check in that case. That's where able one to take enemy him remaining. Out with those canes. Ray gets two. And it makes this a very close first round here. Speaking of, Russ, he'll put a denial over towards Gatch and the Operator. That's going to be a very expensive round here for BDS. And if they don't get that one back in their hands, well, it means they're going to have to buy it up yet again later on. So, that is finally an entry for 10-star. But Rodan instantly with the fire back. And what a wall coming up from the Sage. Perfectly timed. Rodan, oh, unflashed in this case. He's going to be able to other side another one for Rodin to make it three in total Brody on the rotate and Rodin gets a fourth one the man is on fire for BDS the killjoy is last alive 10 star has such a great start to the round but BDS firing all through to make sure B stays open and in shroud is one and there's a late the closer with the wall and the plant should go down in just a moment here the sage of BDS Poppy watching the flank. He'll take down Polvi for 10 star. Cray firing back onto Roden. Got the finisher on Russ as well as Hoppy on a Cray. And it's an advantage. Last Three, but Stanley? the finisher says no! Akuma, great spot here. And to rally. On to B. There's the plant going down. Logan finding one, but Brody is going to take down Logan. Very well done here. To just clean up the Sage that has been such a thorn in the Brody? side of 10 star every single time. Brody on the flank. He's got to look to his left side. No, he's looking wrong. He gets one, but Hoppy takes him down. Well done here for BDS still. Lots of damage done on the window, but Stanley goes down to Gats. Oh, great. Oh, Shut down by Akuma, and it is all on Colby. Yes, and it looks like Hoppy is going to go in first. Will Paranoia on his way in is the question. Yes, he will. Directly behind the boss, and he oh. takes down Rush looking the wrong way. Logan, another one on the Stanley. The Astra and the Sky are out. There's the wall also to protect from rotations through that area in this garage. And even also going down a lockdown. Anybody on the other side, though? Colby, get a kill on a Broden. And what can be done? Because this Here plant is so open. Showstopper is out. Bovi, ah, hitting nobody in the back. Logan staying alive. Guess we'll take down one. Logan for the second. Nakuma for the last. BDS share. Be up to Brody and the gang to be able to retake. They're going to let the spike go down because you need to collect the players. But speaking of collecting players, Brody gets collected by Gash. Ten stars. Kofi himself is trying to make the entry. And with paint shells in hand, I don't think it's going to do enough damage. 1v1. Played it. Where's my 10 star Excel sheet? Here we go. The last time they played it was back in June. So they haven't played it in the, in the most recent qualifiers. Which has meant that they might be a little rusty on it. And that's what we're seeing here in the first half. And now we're into the pistol of the second. Usually 10 star win their pistol. And BDS mm. throw it back. Oh, great shot from Hoppy there on a Kray with the Dink and the follow-up. Polvi though on Logan making sure that numbers advantage is not given away to BDS. What a peek through the smokes coming out from the Astra. There's Rota with another one down. on Stanley See. though. Still... 2v2, but the jet is so low on health. This guy is also taking damage. I'm not sure if there's anything to heal up ahead. that jet. And, uh, Ten star remaining. actually eyeing a peek. Rodin one has one remaining. on a Brody. Colby will refract instantly. Oh, one bullet is all he needs, but gas directed towards the window, but. Brody, he wants to try and make a bit of damage. SMG in the hands of BDS and uh, Hoppy. Uh, get it in your hands. Speaking of, Knife instead. And that was not the play. They didn't hear the creep on the sight and the lurk. And as the plant goes down, this gives Tensar, even though they don't have the weaponry for it, a really good advantage to play for the post plant. Exactly. So, there's though Gatch at range. He's going to find Stanley with a headshot, pushing up for more SMG advantage at that distance. But it's only to win it out here in those doors make sure nobody packs oh, through bunny and there it is Polvi gets one and now in hay Russell oh, he's down to 30 HP he's got to be careful of where he goes there's nobody in the window also to support him and Gatch will fall back so I've this got guy your train. can rest easy for now but looks like that C push has been red Rotom going for the flash doing a bit of work he's got to go find Russ with the French D Poppy with one more great with a 
No. Oh no, Logan, they line up for him. He's gonna be able to find two for himself. Full HP by the Sage. Even for a lockdown on top of it all. So much for 10 star wow. being dedicated here as they understand this round is very important, giving us that buffer. And it might be for BDS where they attempt the retake. Nobody detained in the meantime. The flash out from Rodin. But they're completely blind in this case. And the flash will collect one, but two kills, three kills make that will go the way. Catch and take down the turret and then fall back. Oh. A good shot for Rodin on a Polby to take down the raise before much can be done by him. He's really had a rough time in this one. BDS able to catch him out around every single corner. So things slow down, but an advantage for BDS in the entry, that's a good way to start. Things will slow down a little bit, but with that barrier orb up, it means that Logan is able to shut out the B-site for a little bit. Stanley! Oh, the receiver of a beautiful wall bang. Logan doesn't have to pop anything but his shoulder to get that freebie. And now, this is looking like a flawless round. This is pushing BDS onto match point here. And they can't even get the spike down. What side is even open for them? Maybe if they quick rotated to see. But there's a player in quick contention for that. Should they plan on pushing over there? It's Akuma. Speaking of, he'll be the one that's probably in the next engagement. As Russ is making his way over towards A. Two players are awaiting his arrival. Left. And this is a match point kind of round here for BDS. Hoppy oh. gets an easy Five guardian kill eight. onto Russ. And Cray, well, he decides he wants to... Or that seeing objective looks like though a has been committed to the sky of bds Locked is low on hp it shall be saved up by the sage and yes can they use it in this position you want to you got a wonder for bds there's objective very well done here to isolate bds and their opponents and there's a lockdown lockdown to come out as well rodent and rust for a kill each all, all speak sprayed down into sight. A great wall to come out from the stage. Russ knows what's up right above him here. But how much can be done about it? Two kills, three kills come out for 10 star and great close at the last from Logan. That was timeout may work. We see sometimes where it doesn't. We also see sometimes where the timeout is exactly what the team needs to be able to discuss a plan. And speaking of a plan, it looks like 10 star is playing. This play here, the flash is out. He's going to pull back. Gash, but good shot for Akuma here. The area is taking on both Russ and Polvi. Definitely unexpected, but you know what? It does the work for BDS and the hours if we play it well. Spike's going to be planted. You know that there's always somebody sitting in heaven on that uh, window. Flash is ready to go out. And there might be a gravity. No, it is actually a smoke to come out here from the Astra. Gash for the flank with Omen just behind. Ray is trying to catch off any rotations here through sewers. Hoppy, paranoia all the way down onto site. Gash will try to come on in. Akuma with one, Hoppy with a second, all on the kill choice of Ray. She's got more to go through, but Logan with a headshot. Is forced back as well through mid. A bit of damage has already been done to that Ray. I'm just going to be killed up as we speak. Stanley taking down Hoppy. Good start here for 10 star and a good peek for Takas. He's going to take a bit of damage from behind and down to 1 HP. Akuma, though, getting aggressive. He collect one. Can he get the kill zone? No, he cannot. They're so low on HP. One singular bullet. It turns into a two versus one. The fuse gonna Rodin. come out here. Rodin is gonna go for the kill, but he's got two to go through, and the Viper in the perfect in that line of sight on that a objective. And plus everything cools down, literally in this case. We'll be able to go for the plant, but there's the jet and the sage that are awaiting Russ peeking, but there's too many watching, and Logan will be able to take him out. The wall is set, and this should be the opportunity for BDS to go for the plant. Hello, the Great, the it? perfect position. Taka so slow here on the help, and Brody will take him down. Yep, so Stanley with the fire back on a BDS. It leaves only the Viper alive. Spike had already been planted. Oh, the tag to 24 HP for hot right sight lines. So it's good for t for 10 star to. At least have that to work for them. Oh, what a shot from Polvi. There it is. 
onto Akuma, and they're Spike going to double down. up. Good from Hawk. Snowman position. That's right out, and Polby's going to have to move on up. It doesn't shift him for too long, but okay to cast. You know, get it out, my friend. He wants to make his presence known, and as Hoppy jumps in, skips and hops on in, it's to cast to be able to realize the flank was coming. Goodbye. See you later. And as Cray finds out that the... It's pit down. Rush is going to have to free fire it, and he's checking every single location. He's going to drop down, but he's going to be met with Hoppy and Takas on the other side to take down Cray. Brody at the top of the crate. He's going to go for the default spot spray and maybe into yellow. But Stanley from behind at least taking down Rodin. It's going to be a tough time to retake in a 3v4, but not impossible. Say so close, Logan. He knows what's up. He knows Polv is down the corner, and Akuma is going to go down. Takas with one on a Stanley. This is a 3v2. An advantage sits last still for stand. BDS. So from behind, there's the Viper down. One, one last is Brody. Oh. He's got to deal with one more. That's oh, the no, cost. No he's got to decide what to do. Yeah, he's going to need to go for the defeat. He's got it half. Nice shock dart there. That catches a couple of players shifting around yellow. Mm -hmm. But as they push on forward and that barrier orb goes up, they're actually waiting. They're biding time to see if anyone peeks. And Roman has the vandal in the air, but guess what? Polvi, he's got a weapon of his own. And as Stanley, Brody, and Cray get into the mix, it is just the sober remaining of Akuma. Hunter's Fury in hand, but too little too late for that one. Now, the early in this half, they would actually be looking pretty decent come their attacking side. Takasta will find the entry onto Polvi and. That. And it looks like 10 Star have also found their footing back into this matchup. There's only one round, however, and it came off the back of a Hunter's Fury Spike for Cray. I know we say Cray is a bit of a Zuma word, but he often hits me as the man that's going to pull out those Cray kind of shots. Are they covering? No, not really. But as they come swinging, Cray gets a third. Logan's going to clap back onto Stanley. And in a 3v2, in a post plan situation, you need the Sober and the Killjoy to step up. And this is the kind of step up we mean. Last round was one and an ultimate. This round could be as well. But as they come zooming out, they go for the defuse instead of the kill. Three seconds for the lockdown. And Great angle for a plant. Down, Logan sets it in, and we enter the post plant position. That wall was also on sort of more diagonal than we usually get. He didn't plant default. He actually shot it out a bit more so that no one could either use utility or wall bang over towards that tiny cube. It meant that he barely got it off successfully, and the Viper cover as well was perfect. Marshall in hand for Brody. Okay, brother, get it. See if he can be a battle sober now, and I've cursed him to the realm. <laughs> Logan will shut him on down, and it does mean the Hunter's Fury that Akuma collected with that old orb will come into play. Do they have time? No. And as Polby long arms it away from the Hunter's Fury, two of the players aren't in close contention, but to cast is Polby. Polby really being in the perfect position for such a play. What a headshot. Great kill to take down Hoppy before he can do much, but Russ. On the other side, taken out by Takas, equalizing the numbers between the two. Brody, realizing something is up. All the util will be thrown in with the leers for the arena on BDS. Takas, another on the Brody. There. He is so good, and Broden taken down. One more for his own. Holby at least slowing things down on Takas. Going to be able to dash away. But he dashes right into the welcoming arms. Lucky timing so they don't peek you at the same time. Logan mm -hmm. confirms, goes down. That's the initial pick they were looking for. But as that spike keeps beeping, it's raining in his ears. It's like use of the Viper's pit means that Russ can't get in where he's looking for. And okay, they're going to double down on that Viper util. That's great. But as that is still bursting on over, it means they're going to have to come running through. A bit of a spotting over towards Russ means that they know exactly where he is. Brody is going to be the one to try and enter into the poison cloud, but he jumps straight into the barrier orb instead. There's a player circling around it, but as he falls and it's Cray to take him down, it'll be only to cast who's had a game of his career. He'll finish it off, and surely this is the amount of time as Stanley is running ship W as quick as he can over to an open spike. He'll have to commit now. He'll tap it. DeCast doesn't fall for the bait, and as he swings on around, he can't commit, but it's too... So... What can Akuma do here? It swings Ooh. wide into one. Can't get the second. Stanley with a refrag instantly take him down. And that's the thing. When you're up close and personal like that with the classic, all you got to do is just right click to win every 30 single seconds time. Left. That is just kissing range pretty much between the two. The Dink and not the finisher. Hoppy will go down to Cray. And the plant should be going down. Rodin. In the long range game with the ghost. Tacked through Polvi. Telling the Sova to just back off and give him space. 
Okay, there's Cray with another on the road in though, and it's still 3v2 advantage for 10 star. A lot of damage has been done to the save. Thinking, should I heal or not? And no, it doesn't matter. Brody and Stanley, the usual, is in for 10 star. There's a shot for Hoppy on a pole V. And he keeps on moving. The Bulldog has to be reloaded, putting himself in yellow. And Russ will back behind the wall for now. Akuma. There's the bolt coming out. Recon bolt is out. And he's going to be able to spot that, hey, there is indeed one person sitting in yellow. We'll miss Brody on the stun. And Akuma will fall back, awaiting support. But this should at least be a plant for 10 star. But... <laughs> Still advantage. Not sure how often he lost that one, but Russ is going to take him out. Brody is going to equal his numbers for 3v3. And Logan is getting up close and personal versus his opponent's 10 star. Or falling back to put himself in better post point positions. Brody ta tagged and taking a lot of damage here. Info recon bolt not being supported. And it's a one to one trade. But health wise for BDS and the Reyna is still alive. Brody on 40 HP. The fuse is going to come in. What can Brody do? Prey will get one. He's going to be taken out. It's the cost. Last alive. All he needs is a couple of bullets, and that will be it. But he's not far away either. Yeah. Careful, and as they make their presence known, they'll drop down a lockdown. Barrier all goes out as well, and they'll get one bit of destruction. It's going to be up to Stanley, but oh, Rodin, he'll put an end to that one. And as Cray also attempts to make an entry over towards the Rainer, this is going to stall out just a little bit. Colby will shut down Hoppy in the meantime, and you're just not sure. They got you will they got pulled back. You're thinking, okay, out. well, what's going on here, BDS? They... Baited themselves, I guess, out of it, but Akuma will still take down Brody. And maybe attempt for the second. He will win it out against Stanley and Brody turn it to a 3v2. But Akuma will finally go down. Logan on 99 HP. Russ could win it out against him as the information has been given out. Rogan, Rodin on the front. Oh, <gasps> so close. Pull me. Haven't, haven't checked it. Logan gets one. Rodin right behind. Oh, come on, bro. He's one so close. He's remaining. got a pistol in hand. One He'll go for the double remaining. shot. Switches over to the rifle. But Cray has done the work. It's a 1v1. He's going to go for the, the fuse. Ultimate is out for Rodin. Can he go for the final shot? Yes, he will. Great pull close. But this is going to give Polvi enough time and space to just walk into sight. So much damage done by Stanley, and he'll finish off Rodin. That's the operator finally down. And... We don't have to deal with it later. Guardian is in the hands of the defense as Russ is awaiting his position. But at any point, Tenstar can just decide to swap around and go to A. I wouldn't be surprised if that happened soon. Looks like they've committed a little bit too much utility and thought process to this B push. That's why they're going to come zooming through now. There goes the barrier orb. And Default plan happening done. now. Nice there from Fight Akuma. Plan. He's had a really good impact multiple rounds in a row. Could he do more? Yes. And as he spray paints the wall saying they're cats on the other team. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm going to throw it in the mix <laughs> whilst I'm in the midst of it. But speaking about the midst of it, we're in the midst of a post plant. This is an opportunity now for 10 star to get themselves into an even Steven game. And it means they're going to have to swing confidently. But there's so many defenders raining around. And in a 2v2, Gray doesn't miss. It's an opportunity now for Hoppy to show what he's made of but it's Cray for the triple and now they've tied up the score in our very last map of and move up into the seven finals so Obi's in and Rodin's gonna take him down instantly that of the smoke oh. lots of damage done to Stanley oh the operator round and Rodin will take him down to give the advantage man power wise to BDS the Sova probably healed back up here but Looks Easy like for you too. You gotta go for it here. Lockdown is in as well to allow for this to go down. Nobody detained, but it gives the space to get into post plant positions for 10 star. Speaking of post plant positions, I love Rodens. He's got the right, right weaponry for it as the cloud burst come raining out. He'll spot out. That killjoy, but the Viper's pit in return. This gives him the opportunity. Russ, oh. he's going to be able to resurrect Stanley as Rodin puts Brody in the dirt. This gives him the opportunity to hear the ding, and it's Cray yet again. He's the king of B, and he's going to put themselves onto 11 round. If Rodin can't get the clutch, he's out. La Rodin, himself top of headshots. Goss will take down Brody. It's a 3v5 for BDS to have the advantage in this one. Hold we'll checking. Cray will take down oh, the cost. That's the one you want. 
They double up. Stanley and Cray will get a kill each. It turns into a 2v2. That my first bit is so powerful, and Logan will be forced to pick up Hoppy. You gotta use every single bit of util you've got in this case. Includes ultimate, but Stanley on the flank. He's gonna go He's so close to his opponents. He's right behind them. He's gonna deny one. The Sage is so low on HP. They have to walk in through the pit and take it. I got all the goosebumps head to toe. Whew. My god. What a round. Cray almost did it, man. Cray and Stanley, they almost pulled that back. BDS have man advantages in rounds, and somehow they still make it look like they don't. I need to do it here, right now. Oh, that was a nice little recon there as well. That actually confirms to them that surely they're pushing. You did say Takas is by himself, and he doesn't even get one for the trouble, but Akuma, he'll come raining in onto side. He's waiting for the rest of the defenders to go, but as a lockdown pops, they have 10 seconds to make a decision. Do you push aggressively, or do you destroy oh, that lockdown? Right Akuma down, will only man. get one, and it does mean they'll have to wait out these last two seconds. The plan finally goes down. And Cray, who has had an incredible match here on Icebox, is going to have to zoom on back. Post player positions, as they'll cover out over towards that turret. It does mean that Hoppy is going to have to do some serious damage from heaven. He's going to have to be the god the team needs. Because as we are staring down the barrel of a 3v2, post player position, map point, series point here for 10 star. They'll start the defuse, but there's a Hunter's Fury in hand. It's Brody. He's going to save the day for the team if they're not careful. And it's just going to be one left. It's the Viper of Hoppy.